bright sunshine makes perfect a royal wedding day. Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark arrives for his marriage to Princess Ingrid, granddaughter of the Duke of Connaught and of King Gustav of Sweden. The Princess. Her white satin gown is trimmed with the old Irish lace and orange blossom that had been worn by her English mother, the late Princess Margaret of Connaught at Windsor in 1905. With the rites of the Swedish Lutheran Church, the wedding ceremony is performed by the Archbishop of Uppsala. Carl Waldemar Georg, die direkte Mann, wo er mit Johnnen die Möge und uns. Ja. Crown Prince Frederick, looking every inch the sailor he is in his naval commander's uniform, assists Princess Ingrid looking radiantly beautiful and happy into the royal Landau. They drive through masses of people, through streets garlanded with the blue and yellow flags of Sweden and the red and blue ensigns of Denmark back to the palace of King Gustav. They appear on a balcony to acknowledge the thundering cheers of the populace. Then the royal couple perform an act of kindness and princely consideration. In the open Landau, Princess Ingrid still wearing her bridal gown, the royal couple, escorted by hussars, drive for an hour through the crowded Stockholm streets so that all might have a chance of seeing the happy pair. Princess Ingrid waves gaily, but for her it is farewell, for she is to leave her native country to live in Copenhagen. Changed into her going away dress of green with picture hat to match, she says goodbye to her friends as she leaves for her new home. At the landing stage waits King Gustav's royal barge, the sailors oars at the salute, and they depart on the Danish royal yacht Danburg amid thunderous cheers, escorted by planes and battleships. Princess Ingrid goes to Denmark, one day to be queen of the ancient Viking nation from whose shores came another queen, the beloved Alexandra of England.